But Boeing shares are dropping. Uh, you know, they were hit hard on this news. They're still down a lot, obviously dragging on this market. It's here to discuss Payne Capital senior wealth advisor, Courtney Dominguez. Courtney, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting because if at some point you, if you feel like this issue will be resolved, uh, you know, yeah. and, and at some point they still have 20 years of monumental orders. And in fact, they just got a gigantic order at the Paris Air Show from British Air yeah. that, that sort of saved today. So when you see these knee-jerk reactions to a stock like this as a long-term investor, someone who manages money, do you see opportunity or, or is it still sort of too risky? There is definitely extra risk involved, but I think there is a lot of opportunity with Boeing. I would even argue today there's probably more of an overreaction because the stock was down over 7% in pre-market trading. It's down less than 2 right now, so it's not nearly as dramatic as people thought it was going to be. But you have to look at it from the consumer standpoint. And when airlines are looking to buy airplanes, they're looking at airlines that airplanes that may be in the air for 30 years. So they're willing to give Boeing a little bit of time to figure out these issues. And they're making a very long-term decision on their purchases. So let's broaden this out to the broader uh, market because mm -hmm. uh, when the news came out, it also coincided with the news that President Xi had some tougher demands mm -hmm. uh, going into this meeting with President Trump. I'm thinking that one word that everyone wants to see on Wall Street is truce. If mm -hmm. the word truce comes up, uh, if that's the word and that's what we start Monday's trading off with, I think we could be off to the races. How do you see, how do you handicap all of that? I agree. I think at this point, a lot of people are expecting that something won't get resolved. So any added benefit is going to be a good thing. But I think the markets are kind of pricing in that nothing will happen. So if nothing happens, I don't think it's a bad thing for the market. But if something good happens, I agree. I think the stocks are off to the races. Overall, with this market, uh, it's, it's, this is going to be, as it stands now, this could be one of the best Junes in history. It could be oh, the yeah. best June since 1938 for the Dow. How does that inform the rest of the year, or does it? It doesn't matter because we'll be looking at different uh, issues. It, it matters so much, though, because we're really standing in the face of a lot of issues with the market. So what's kind of interesting right now is investors are more bearish than they have been since 2009 right now, yet the markets are still doing really well. And to quote Warren Buffett here, you want to be greedy when others are fearful, and that's exactly what we're seeing. And the markets have done so well this year, but people are pulling money out of the markets. They're putting it in bonds, and money market funds are at their all-time highs right now because people are just terrified. Right. And I think we're still seeing the markets go up despite all of that, which is a really good sign. So that's sideline money that could come pouring in. Oh, yeah. New highs could be at new highs. You yeah. and I were talking about beyond these our shores, emerging markets, frontier mm -hmm. markets. You like those, uh, maybe higher risk with a huge potential. I agree. I think especially as a long-term investor, there's so much opportunity abroad right now. And everybody's very nervous with it with the trade wars right now. So a couple of things will happen. Either we'll resolve the trade wars and our trade will continue with places like China, which is one of the largest economies in the world. But if not, we're going to renegotiate countries, which is where things like frontier markets can also reap those benefits. So I think regardless, a lot of your foreign markets here have a lot of opportunity. All right, Courtney, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And, and, and I do need to point out that there is no relationship between myself and Courtney's company, <laughs> Paying Capital. Well, the Supreme